Hi everybody, this is Fast Life, and we're 3944. Sorry, it's kind of quiet today. I gotta be kind of quiet, kind of like 10 o'clock or something. I don't even know no more. But anyway, we got my kitty cat here with me. I painted her toenails today because I got bored. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that or not. I did. It came off like right away because like they were so wet, and then she went to like go walk in, and then um, kind of came off. Say hi, kitty. Oh, she's kind of stuck on me. <laughs> I love her. Hi, kitty, kitty. Mm -hmm. This is Mau Mau's. Ooh, yeah, ooh, wow, ooh, browsing. Ooh, put it back in the spot. <laughs> she always just stuck on me. Like her claws. It's like her. Anyways, um, so how have y'all been? I have one more week of school left. I'm so happy. But then, I got my finals coming up. And for my midterm for Latin, I got 80 out of 200. So I'm guessing I might get around there for the final again. Hopefully not, because I want to get credit for this class, because I need the credits. Because I need a foreign language for college and all the crap, but I don't care about it, which I don't, never use Latin anyways. They, took, they kicked me out of Spanish with me in Latin, because apparently I, they think I'm too stupid for Spanish. But I was like, oh yes, because Latin would be any easier than Spanish. There's some noise. But it's like, I can teach myself German, but yeah, I can't learn another language. But yeah, so um, I've been like addicted to watching Charlie Chaplin for like the last month, like legit. Hold on. So I remember the cat's trying to get in, and like she crawls, she claws under the door. They can open the door, so I just locked it so she can't get in. Anyway, so I've been like addicted to watching Charlie Chaplin because I freaking love Charlie Chaplin now. And I made a couple projects about Charlie Chaplin, so I'm just gonna start it. So, um, this is more or less a practice one because I'm just starting stenciling, and this is kind of like a practice. I was kind of like messing around on the board. So, it's this little, um, thingy of whatever you want to call it. So, I'm just gonna explain everything. So, as you can see, there are, um, gonna get kind of back. There's two picture of Charlie Chaplin. I'll call him Chaplin. So there's this, there's this one, and then there's this one. These two are the same, and then there's two smaller ones. Um, this is just my, me practicing, practicing my stenciling and spray painting. These two are spray painted, and these two are painted on. And then, um, I like a couple movies from him. So I like The Great Dictator. So I actually put a dog tag right there. But you can't see it because it kind of like got scratched off. And I actually bought this movie a couple days ago. And I actually bought the collector's edition. So it cost me like all the money I had. But so that's from this. And then the spots. I don't think you can see this. But like there's like. Ooh, almost fell. <laughs> but there's like um, food coloring spots everywhere. And this is just because um, I like one of the movies he plays in called The Circus. And then this is why that pattern is right here. Um, it's all glittery. Because, like, it reminds me of, like, the circus, kind of. Um, this was an accident right here, so don't mind that. Then this, the flowers. I forget which movie it's called. I think, like, um, City Lights or something. But he falls in love with this, like, blind girl. And he, she sells, fla she sells flowers. Really cute movie. So I put, um, some, um, what, paper towels. Not paper towels. Um, I forget what's called. Um, gift tissue or whatever um, roses I made them. If you want to see a tutorial on how to make these, I'll be more happy to show you. It's really easy, but I'm not the best, as you can see. And then I put the blood there, um, just because. And then it kind of like represents like sometimes in the movie he doesn't get the girl he wants, and he gets like a heart, like a broken heart. And so that's why there's like blood here, and then he kind of like heals from it. So I kind of made it look like he was scarring over right there. And then this is what the heart represents too. So there's a little clay heart. And then instead of making the heart bleed, I added this little bottle with um, blood cells in it to represent the bleeding. It's really cool because you can like move around it. If you like sit there long enough, you can play with it and make it like move around the air bubbles. And then so I thought it was cool because instead of making the heart bleed, which I did, I kind of represented it in a glass jar and something else. It, like It's kind of like a clue and you can play with it. And, I like to play with it. But yeah, so this is just kind of like a practice. Um, 
I like it a lot. I'm probably going to put my wall once I actually we're going to redecorate my room. We're actually going to we're going to strip everything out of my room, repaint my walls. Um, I'm getting a, a new bedroom. Actually, we got to go to like some other town over state. Yeah, stayed over to um, go get my, the furniture from Ikea, but I cannot wait because we have to get the car fixed first and then we can go. I don't know. But yeah, so this is like once I re redesign my room, I'll have just a video up and then I will definitely have this up. Next, um, oopsies, I just got done with this and it's probably like my favorite, um, project I've ever done. It's the most I've put time in maybe and hour not really just because i took a long time um i had to redraw a stencil just because i keep the stencil i don't have stencil paper yet so i have to keep reusing computer paper and that once you use it once it's gone but um yeah whoops it's still wet don't do that okay so i made this lamp shade i think it's really cute and here's a little um, overview sorry if it's out of frame i can't really see too well what i'm doing Okay, so I'm just gonna start. So first of all, as you see, it's just a basic lamp frame shade I got from Dollar General for um, five dollars. And later on, I'm gonna be adding the, like it's like a ribbon, but like has like beads hanging down. So it's kind of like like um, Victorian kind of look on the bottom too. But so on the very top, it took me forever to do this, but there's ribbon all along it, and I added pearls for more of a uh, vintage, old style, really like a classy kind of look, because that's what I was kind of going for. And it's kind of like wrinkled at the top because it's ribbon. And then I added this cute little bow I made out of ribbon with a little pearl. And I meant to put a magnet on the back of this so you could like change it and make it custom and make whatever ribbon you want, but I kind of forgot to. So I really like that. I think it's really cute. And also at the bottom. So on the bottom, there is just, um, oopsies, this little pattern right here. I was going to go all the way around, but I had enough beads and I did. I think that'd be too much, really. So, um, I did this little pattern with little rhinestones. And then, again, the ribbon is all along the, um, backs, or <laughs> along the lamp. Okay, so there's, there's that. So now we're going to get started on the stenciling. Um, if you don't know what stenciling is, you basically, um, take a picture, you decrease the brightness and increase the contact, contrast, and it becomes this black and white picture with just basic lines and shapes, which is this. I actually got this one offline, and this one, but um, I'm not too good with it yet, so I just kind of got these offline, but I'll probably make a tutorial on this, all the stenciling, and you trace it, and then you have to cut out with the exacto knife, and then you just kind of like um, paint it on, so that's what stenciling is, so I did um, cut these all out by hand. So the first one is just Chaplin with this casual one. It's my favorite one because it has the most detail. There's his mustache and his eye, if you're wondering. That's his nose, lips, chin. Whoopsies. <laughs> so you get the basics and his hat's up here. So I like this one so but in the front because I think personally I think it's my best. Then on the sides, there is two in gray. And I made them in gray so it goes with the um, ribbon a little bit more. And it actually shows up a lot once you put the light on. So... This is my very first stencil I did. So it's this Chaplin and his head, um, his hair, head, whatever, his eyes, the mustache, and the lips are down there. So it's like two really basic ones, and I put them on the back on two sides. And what I like about on the back, even though you can't see it, it's still kind of there. It's this really classy, not classy, it's kind of like really, I don't know, what do you want to call it, kind of look, with these all these rhinestones with like, a different pattern going down the seam. I thought that was like really cool. Let me make sure this is in frame. Okay, so there we go. So that was like really cool how I did um, that. So again, this is a little overview. Oh, gotta repaint that. I have to like repaint this because it's like I have to add more layers to it. Whoopsies. So there's this. So, yes. Whoopsies. Sorry, I keep can't, can't say it on her there. Hi, kitty kitty. <laughs> I love my cat so much. <laughs> I like when you scratch their butt, their butt goes up and go boop. I don't know. So there's this. And then, um, 
again, there's this, this practice kind of sheet. It's not really, I don't know, I didn't mean to make this, actually, it just kind of like came up, um, but yeah. So that's everything I have to show. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my two projects I'm working on. Tell me what you think down below, and if you want any tutorials, um, I'll be gladly to do that. You can just leave um, a request in the comments or whatever you want. Or PM me if you have any questions. Just PM me or leave comments. Thanks, Maya. Thanks for watching. Bye.